Ruth Vitality Fitness and I'm popping in here real quick with a little exercise snack video for you. So I hear it all the time. I work with a lot of women in midlife who feel like their shoulders are not strong. They feel like they've got creaking and cracking and all kinds of problems going on with their shoulders. So I'm here with three shoulder stabilization exercises to get you feeling strong in your shoulders before you push on to your heavier exercises with your upper body. So the first exercise that I have for you, you can do without any weights whatsoever or a light set of weights. When I say light set of weights, you probably want to start with two or three pounds on this exercise. It is deceivingly hard. So you're going to go into a slightly bent position. So you're going to bend your hips and knees. You're in this slightly bent position. From here, I'm going to take my hands and face them together. I'm going to reach them up like I'm making an eye. Bring it back down. Then I'm gonna bring my thumbs backwards like I'm making a Y. And then my palms forward like I'm making a T. And I'm gonna angle this way so you can see a little better. I, thumbs back Y, palms forward T. And so I'm really working the back of my shoulder muscles here and my mid back muscles as stabilizers for my shoulders. If I can bring my shoulders back and open up the joints a little bit, the better you open your posture, the more open your shoulder joints will be and the less creaking and cracking you will feel. So you want a strong muscles back here and open chest and you're going to have strong shoulders. So that first exercise, we did it with no weights. I'll demonstrate with weights. It's the exact same thing. I, Y, bird flap T. I, Y, thumbs go back, palms go down on your T. Nice and controlled through each motion. Try not to rush it. Don't let momentum take you down really fast. You're going to work on anywhere between 8 and 15 repetitions of these exercises. You can do it one round for a little exercise snack, or you can do it three to four rounds for a full workout. The next exercise I have for you is called a no money or shoulder external rotation. We're working our rotator cuff muscles here. Very, very important little tiny group of muscles that are very important for our shoulders. So we're going to bring our palms up, hold a band here. You're going to roll those shoulders down and back and get into your perfect posture. Tuck your core in when you do that. Don't let it hang out. Elbows are tucked and locked by your side. You're gonna pull that band apart and bring it back together nice and controlled. Pull that band apart, hold it for a beat or two if you can, control it back in nice and controlled. So you're getting that pull and controlling it as you come back in. Exercise three is a band pull apart. So you can do this two ways. You're gonna get a little bit more of the uh, front of the deltoid muscle if you go palms over top. You're gonna to get a little bit more of the back of the shoulders if you go palms up. I like to start with palms up for a little bit of shoulder stabilization. You're gonna pull your core muscles in, bring those arms straight out from your shoulders. You're going to open up, pull that band apart, keep your shoulders down and back, squeeze those shoulder blades together in the center, control it as it comes back in. Pull it apart, hold it for a beat or two, control it as it comes back in. So like I said, these are shoulder stabilization exercises. They're great to start with these exercises. If you want to strengthen your upper body and you want to feel stronger in your upper body, start with these exercises and build that stability first. I'd love to know how you feel. Let me know how these exercises go for you.